Hello. Hello. Hi, my friend. Well, hello, my friend. How well, are you doing? I hope that woman's still living with you. Well, she is, but uh, she's practically giving me up. You tell her she's the star of the ball. That pretty family, nobody could vote against them. Wasn't that nice? They looked so good last night. I uh, told her of our call, and the president, she was so happy. Well, you and I have made a mistake or two in our life, but she never tripped anything. I even saw a, a feature on her this morning uh, about... Uh, how she said she wasn't running for first lady, that she was running for Hubert Humphrey. <laughs> and that she did feel like she did picked up a few little things uh, on how to be first lady, and she'd just do her best, but she's really running for you. I thought it was the sweetest interview. I wanted to vote twice. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. I'll tell her. My dear friend, uh, we're coming down the crunch here where I, uh, I got to talk to you a little bit and get some guidance. Uh, on this next spot, we've had uh, lots of suggestions, as you know. I met with your, some of our friends last night, uh, some of the governors. And uh, I've talked to George Meeks, and I've talked to Stolper, uh, I've visited with uh, old Jim Farley, I've talked to Mayor Daly, and uh, oh my goodness, well, some of the other labor boys. I think he's talking to Walter Russo. And most of them, uh, they come out, uh, some of them are prescribers. Uh, I figured that that uh, uh, would uh, bring some complications. Even though he brings with him some uh, powerful assets. Their second man and first man for many of them was uh, uh, strange enough. But, and I attend, and the other one is, uh, that they speak well of is. Uh, Fred Harris. I thought he was a little young myself. Uh, maybe I'm getting too old. But uh, he's a dynamic campaigner. I just sitting here with uh, Jim Rowe this morning, and uh, he said that wherever he went yesterday, why, and the day before, that the name uh, uh, Muskie came up. One other name that comes up is Cy Vance. I thought if I got elected, I might have some other things to do for, for him to do. What is uh, what do you have to offer my my conference? Not much. I think all of those are are uh, good men. I think what you've got to do is as nearly as you can. Every one of these guys is trying to influence you. Now I'm not. I don't want to influence you, but I do want to balance you and. I'll always do that as long as I live, because I'll try to be as good to you as you've been to me. Uh, the one thing I do is look at what I got as vice president and see where you're going to get it. Yeah. Now, I just can't improve on that. That's not sentiment. That's not emotion. That's just true. You want lots of energy and go-go. You want lots of articulateness. You want a guy that when the boss doesn't know whether he can come or not, that he'll tear up his speech and laugh and thank him for coming. You want a guy that only got to go down in the swamps, the boss can't go, that he'll love to do it and be happy, even though it just cuts his toenails off. Somebody's got to do that. Now, you've done it all along. you got to say you have somebody that had not a coward. And when the going gets tough and everything gets rough, and it will within the year, you got to have somebody that will just get in a little bit closer and uh, stay a little bit longer. You've got to have a wife like yours, and you've got to have a family like yours. You've got to have somebody as near as that. Now, that's the best uh, dimensions I know. Who fits that, I just really honestly don't know. I know a good many that don't fit it. You don't want another Lodge campaign. You don't want another Garner. You don't want another Wallace, and you just cannot tell. And what all is gold, all is not gold that glitters. I know. And I think the one mistake you're going to make is the same mistake I made. And I think you already made it, and I think you're going to make it every day. That you're short of troops, you're short of riders, you're short of managers, you're short of the young, able folks. You're short of money, primarily. It comes from your father and mother. You didn't inherit it. And as a consequence, 
You're going to have to take people who are not always as loyal as you've been to me, and pretty soon they'll turn things over to another group. I know that's what I'm worried about. And that's the mistake that I made. If I had one thing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a word on Dominican or Vietnam or anything else. If I had one thing back, I'd appoint everybody like I appointed you, Vice President. If I had done that, start over new, I, uh, I'd do it now. Uh, so that's what I want you to be careful about. And this thing, loyalty, Hubert, there's not many of them that got it. I know that. And the, the vice presidency is an impossible job. No human being ought to be required to endure it four years. And I don't care how much you give him. I gave you cities. I gave you civil rights. I gave you housing studies. I gave you youth. I gave you trips. I gave you Vietnam. I gave you every damn thing. But they just make a specialty of trying to divide you and whip you in. And uh, they will do it. And they'll tell you every day all the mistakes the boss makes. And pretty soon some of his staff will be saying, well, uh, the old man didn't screw things up. My boss would have done it. It's human. So that's the number one quality. Yep, that's right. Now, another thing you got to have, you can't carry this country. We're behind now. Yes, sir. Uh, you, just, you just can't carry it. I don't know who can carry it. But if I were giving, uh, if I were giving serious thought, uh, I wouldn't, con I wouldn't go to ambassadors much. No. I think you'll antagonize the other group. I don't think you'll get much. I just, uh, and I don't, I think you'll have somebody that's got more ambition for himself. Yes, that's what I've written off. And uh, uh, then has for you. And uh, uh, I'll have to say this about you. I guess you always willing to be president, but I never saw any evidence of it until I told you that I couldn't be. Now, that's that's what you want. That's what you got to bear in mind. So I would give thought to some of those that you've got. I think Muskie did, is a man of an exceptional ability and stature. Now, that's about all I know about him. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how much of a hot go-go guy he is. I don't know how, how uh, manageable he's gonna be, how, uh, uh, well, what, what's going to happen on all these things, but uh, I think you have to keep him there on the list. Uh, uh, the uh, And uh, he is Catholic, and that is good. Uh, he is Maine, and that is bad, this small state. It doesn't offer much in its sectionalism, and I... Uh, and what he will be doing every day, seven days a week, I don't know. He's been mighty low key, but uh, I think he has to stay. Then let's go on right quick to uh, two or three others. One name you haven't mentioned, and you may not want to, and uh, nobody's ever mentioned it to me. The name I mentioned to you the other day doesn't go. Uh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it just doesn't go, so forget that. I just wanted you to give some consideration, but I looked into it, and it doesn't go, so, so much for that. Uh, the, uh, I think that it's worthy of giving a little thought to think of Hale Boggs. I don't know of another Southerner that wouldn't irritate him, but uh, uh, he is loyal and his wife is, and he's able and he is, and he knows the area, and he's knowledgeable, and he's a hell of a campaigner. But uh, if you're not going to the South, he's Catholic too, and he is Southern, and he is liberal, and uh, so forth. But uh, uh, if you're not going there, uh, I would really look over the West awfully good because I'm telling you, the people got awfully fed up with the East. They're worse than Barry Goldwater thinks, and you can, you, can, you can do the Pennsylvania and New York if anybody can do it with what we're going to do with the Jews and what we're going to do with the Italians by being friendly. But you've got to get somebody that can appeal to these others. Now, this would, this would be a natural uh, if it would work, and nobody ever mentioned it to me, but I never heard as many compliments on anybody as I did on a Yes, I know. He answers Vietnam with that empty sleeve. He answers your problems with Nixon with that empty sleeve. He has that brown face. He answers everything in civil rights, and he draws the contrast without ever opening his mouth. I've never known him to make a mistake. He's got cold, clear courage. He's as loyal as a dog, as you must have observed. He yeah. never undercuts you. He ought to appeal to the West. He ought to appeal to the world. Uh, 
It would be fresh and different. He's young and new. It's something that ought to be considered, and I think that your secretary could call him like Marvin Watson does and say, would you please go to Utah, South Carolina, San Francisco, and I believe he could go to all of them and never lay an egg. Uh, nobody ever mentioned it to me, but I just saw him and Lady Bird said, watched him on television. He said that this is the best man I know of except Hubert. Uh, one of all the folks we've come out with. He's asked nothing, he's done nothing, but uh, he wouldn't be miserable in the place. Now, another fellow will be, and will be lazy and other things. So I would consider Boggs, and I'd consider him. I'd consider Muskie. Uh, the Terry Sanderford would be good. He's been loyal, but I understand the Southern boys think he's too liberal. I wouldn't irritate him anymore, and I had to. They all love, they all love Anoe. I don't know why, but they all, they, they just, uh, I think one thing is that they just look at him and see that he, they can't, they can't fuss at him and say he doesn't love peace. God knows uh, he wants peace more than anybody, and it's quite a contrast with the Agnew and civil rights thing and Nixon, and I just don't think that any Jew or any Pole or any Italian or, or anybody else, uh, in other words, the South can't get mad at him because he's color, and he would appeal to every other minority because he is one. Yeah. Uh, there's a, uh, and that's about all that I can think of. That uh, I like Harris very much. I'd be for Harris. Harris would help us as much as anybody uh, in our state, except Conley. I love Conley. I think he's able and attractive, and you. I, I gather that what they said, they have problems, and I would not urge anybody from my own state because you know that situation as well as I do. Yeah. But Harris would do more to help in this area than nearly anybody. Uh -huh. Now, if he gets too much of the Kerner Commission on him, why, it won't help a damn bit. But uh, uh, he, uh, he deserves something, and he's a go-go guy, and he's helpful. If I had to make the decision, those would be the four, and then... Uh, uh, then I just guess I'd go west. Uh, I'm not going to go east unless uh, unless it's the only one. And uh, if you feel more comfortable and down the road you think you are, I think you have to be satisfied. Yeah. And I don't want you to feel like you got to satisfy me. Uh, you don't think, what do you think about Harris' uh, age? And I, I think it's an advantage. I think it's an advantage. I think both of us are too old in the, in the modern thing. I think you love people more than anybody in this country but me, but I think they use it against us. And I think that uh, this just cuts the guts out of them, the nuts out of them. Uh, I don't think anybody could blame him. I don't know anything about his record. I don't know what he did. I don't know whether any pawn shop fellas gave him any contributions or, or what happened in Oklahoma. Uh, that's something you have to just take a little look at. And, yeah. and when you get down to one or two, I'll take a look at it right quick for you. Uh, I did on some of these others, and it's not good. And uh, we had a clearance before I even talked to you. But when you look a little bit different, why well, we found some uh, associations. And you I get. Think we ought to take a good look. I think we ought to take a good look at Fred and 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 the money. I think I think that's about the two that I've drawn. Have I uh, have I got somebody here I can talk to about that? Yes, I'll do it and get I'll get back to you in 30 minutes. All right. Uh, uh, as soon as they can look at it. Fine. Uh, I know he doesn't appeal to you. Well, I, I just don't believe so. I, he does, Mr. President, but uh, I, I guess maybe it just takes me a little too far too fast. Old conservative Humphrey. Well, now, he's not a con uh, no, right... I mean, I, I was speaking uh, uh, lightly about myself. I said that... Uh, uh, I, it, it just takes me a little bit too, too far, too fast. Well, I think of the two, I don't know, I've never looked at his record. I don't know what it is. But I think of the two, these are the strong...